is they have an update on Blu-ray sales. Yep, they have now Tommy signed to trickle these sales in. And now it's up to February 28th. And the best-selling movie of the weekend of the week, it is, of course, in America. Obviously, it does not include worldwide sales. It's not going to include, you know, Japan, you know, Europe. It's not going to include South America. And it's definitely not going to include India and Australia, New Zealand, and especially it does not include Canada, which the box office includes Canada. This is just the United States sales. Nowhere else is included. That's what I'm telling you guys. It is just the United States sales. Nowhere else is included here. And these are still estimates too. So, Tracky might be behind for a certain movie or not. But the best selling movie of the week is The Cruise New Age. No surprise, it's a big, that was a big animated movie. It's a big DreamWorks movie as well. And no surprise that people are watching it. On uh, buying this movie on Blu-ray. Next is Greenwind, which has been out for a couple of weeks. Greenwind has sold 290,000 copies. Bees, which again, it is not surprising that it isn't really doing the best on Blu-ray because it is a much more dark movie, a much more. You know, it's fairly similar to another movie that people didn't really like, named Geostorm. It was basically about like the end of the world and stuff. I know that I know there is an audience for this type of stuff. I like these types of movies, but they, but a movie like Green Wind is not for everyone. Obviously, doesn't even based off the sales. And yeah, this movie has been out for a while now. Green Wind. Uh, next is a new Scooby Doo movie. Yep, they made a new Scooby Doo, Doo movie. Be called Scooby Doo and the Sword of the Scoop. It's another one of the many, many direct DVD Scooby Doo movies. I'm surprised they're not releasing them exclusively on HBO Max at this point. Because, because Warner Bros. owns the Scooby Doo license. I wonder how long they'll continue releasing these on Blu ray and DVD until they release them only on HBO Max and there's the end of the Scooby Doo franchise on. Non streaming on uh, non HBO Max platforms. They already are starting to do that with Tom and Jerry, where they made a Tom and Jerry cartoon only on HBO Max. So, who wonders how long the Tom and the Scooby Doo direct to DVD view echo? No, not no. Edison releases come out. Next is Wrong Tone, another new movie. It didn't it didn't it's not really a popular movie, so it's no one why no one's buying it. The Sack. Surprised a lot of people bought this movie. I've I've heard bad things about the Sack. But apparently people do like the movie enough that it sold 1.4 million copies. Because and apparently again apparently it's another successful Lionsgate movie, which Lionsgate is known for the non successful movies. These and box office and critical failures. Yes. Yes. Failures. But, yep, next is Mulan. This movie passed a million. Saturday, a million people bought this. But, you know, good movies are gonna continue to lose money. No, are gonna flop, but, you know, people will buy, you know, the same movies they have seen over and over again. But Mulan is still doing far worse than Aladdin on Blu-ray. It's doing far worse than <clears throat> many other Disney movies on Blu-ray. So it is hope that people are starting to find wake up the Disney remakes. And of course, Mulan does not really have any competition either. So, unlike the Lion King, even then the Lion King remake and, you know, Aladdin didn't really have, didn't have competition. They still sold on like 2 million copies or 3 million copies. But Mulan likely won't even reach 2 million copies. The Wizard of Oz sold 16,000 copies. I can only imagine another reggae, move, reggae type movie as well. Justice Week. Surprisingly, despite people hating Justice Week, it's still selling pretty well on Blu-ray. And DVD, save for the Meg, The Former. That's another newer movie. The Mule is still selling pretty well on Blu-ray and DVD. My Neighbor Total Tower is selling pretty well. Let Him Go. Go, 164,000 copies sold. Crawl has made a resurgence on DVD and Blu ray. <clears throat> Same thing with Top Gun and new movies, how The Swordsman and 90 Minutes in Heaven as well. So, yep, that's basically it about this video. 
Goodbye.